I'm back in the building. You know I get that money. Put a little dirty south swag over there. You know what it is. Huh. It's the other half of dark mom smoked out heavy fog. I ain't left the game at the slide off and get it, dog. 28 grand for the six feet. Page. I got to laugh with y'all. So I'm laughing because I I reposted shade room, a video off of the shade room. So it's a black dude on there and he explaining how he got hold on y'all. Cause the damn thing keep falling. He explained how he got seven kids from seven different women. He explained that these women is like jump offs. And he explained exactly what he mean by saying that they're jump off. Like these is females that he didn't have to do nothing to fuck. Like he had to do no real work. You get what I'm saying? Like fellas, y'all know what I'm talking about. He didn't really have to do shit to get the pussy, right? He admitted is irresponsible we have an unprotected sex both of us both of us me and the, the lady having irresponsible unprotected sex right but now when the girls get pregnant and this man do this apparently all the time because he said it's other girls that this time came up he tell them he don't want no kids they take the plan b or they take the abortion money because he paid for it and they go have an abortion it's seven women he said that didn't do that, right? They kept the baby. After he told them clear as day, he don't want to be no father, he don't want no kids, he don't want nothing to do with no kid. This man is adamant. He couldn't be more clear. And see, one thing about me, I don't straddle the fence, right? I'm fussing real shit. And this is where y'all a lot of times can't take me. Because as a woman, I don't side with y'all just because I'm a woman. I side on the side of common motherfucking sense and logic. I wouldn't give a fuck what we talking about. It could be a situation I'm in. Bitch, I'm going to go with the motherfucking logic and the common sense. I'm never going to take my opinion based on my feelings and run with it with no facts. The man told you motherfuckers clear as day. These is not females I'm in relationships with. These is not women. I'm making them think we finna be some shit. These is jump offs. It's easy to fuck. We fuck wrong because I want the raw sex. No, I did not pull out. She did not try to make me pull out. We both irresponsible for the sex. Now you pregnant and I'm telling you I don't want the baby. Don't want it. Don't want to be a father. Don't want the baby. Don't want nothing to do with it. Don't, don't, don't. You decide to have it anyway because it's your body, your choice. Now y'all calling the man years later for what? The man saying, what did you call him for? Like, you have a choice. It's your body. It's your choice. He's saying it's his life. It's his choice. He going to move out the fuck he want. Now, y'all know I'm big on whatever his consequences from whatever he's doing is going to be on him. All that raw sex, in my opinion, it's not healthy because you could end up with an STD, right? But y'all females, that y'all just one lady on the shade room, her comment under my comment, she commented because, you know, when I comment, ooh, the kids come running. The comment under my comment is, at love underscore Dorsey, shut the fuck up. Why well, I got to shut the fuck up? Because I've been saying what the man been saying for years. Like, this nigga just not saying this. I've been saying this for years. The sooner y'all females stop letting these niggas fuck raw, knowing that you're going to end up with the bulk of the responsibility, if he's not a certain type of man, the sooner we'll get past this and move on to the next chapter of what the fuck we need to be worried about. The sooner y'all stop letting niggas fuck so easy to where they don't value the sex or what come with it, the sooner this shit will stop. Niggas can't do what the fuck y'all don't allow. And the fact that it's seven of y'all did the same shit. And for me, I come from the hood. So I know it be bitches just like them seven. That y'all be knowing that a nigga got other baby mamas. That he don't take care of the kids with them. And then y'all get pregnant. And y'all know y'all motto. Y'all think y'all can make a nigga change. So y'all will have a baby. And you think five years later. Because you told Facebook his mama, your sisters, them. And everybody around you that he a deadbeat. It's going to make them nigga change. Some niggas don't give a fuck. Like, bro, on the shade room post. Don't give a fuck. All that crying, whining, running to child support. I know a lot of niggas, they're not afraid of child support. They don't give a fuck. Get this little money and you and the baby that I told you I don't want can get the fuck on. Is it fair? Does it hurt some people's feelings? Is it a lot of y'all that may not disagree? Yes, absolutely, of course. But the fucking point y'all need to get is stop allowing it. A nigga could only do what the fuck you allow. One girl on my page, 
he's a part of the problem or I, he's problematic and you're uh, a part of the problem because you're supporting it. Girl, get your silly ass on. So you'll let him fuck raw too? You'll let him fuck raw too and after he tell you you don't want the baby, you'll keep the baby and then be online somewhere in the community telling him he a deadbeat when the man told you he don't want to be a father. That's not what he want for his life. He just wanted some raw pussy. You gonna do that and then say, I'm a part of the problem. No, I think that you hoes that actually think this makes sense to do this with this man is a part of the problem. I don't think I am because ain't nobody running up in me raw without earning this pussy and I'm not gonna be keeping no baby from no nigga that's telling me he don't want no motherfucking child. So I don't think just in this is my opinion, I don't think I'm a part of the problem. I think you hoes is a part of the problem. If you ask me. I ain't even saying you ask. I'm just telling you cause this is my life. Sis, I'm not a part of the problem. It's you bitches that act like this ain't common sense. That's the motherfucking problem. Do he got a problem? Yes, there he does. We could go on and on about a lot of things he could do different. The nigga telling y'all what the fuck he doing. And y'all bitches going along with it. The fuck going on? I feel like if if anything, you motherfuckers need to evaluate why you don't see the common sense in what the fuck bruh saying. And I'm with him. Why is y'all calling? I can even see when the kids get older and they decide to call based on what they want to pursue being a child and then he can give them his truth. Y'all don't be wanting that though. Y'all don't want that. Y'all, what the fuck is you calling? The man told you you don't want, but see a lot of y'all, this is y'all testimony. That's why y'all triggered when I posted that video talking about what the fuck I'm promoting. I'm going to promote what the fuck I want to promote. Same way you hoes keep promoting the stupid shit about sleeping with a nigga. Nigga telling y'all he don't want a baby and y'all just keep having him. Just keep having him. Just keep. How many generations is we going to go through before you hoes realize we need to stop? Stop giving away your pussy for free. Stop keeping these motherfucking babies when y'all knowing these niggas ain't showing no interest in you as the woman. The man said so clear on the video. He's saying these is jump offs. Women, I don't even show no interest in loving on them at all. And then you think you finna turn around and try to make me love on some kids that you decide to have. Now he go the other side of it that I can't understand why y'all never want to talk about this either. If a woman fuck wrong and get pregnant, and she says to herself, hmm, self, I don't want no kids right now. I don't even want to fuck with babies right now. I don't want to be no mama. And she go down to the abortion clinic and get an abortion. Nobody says to her, you should have had that baby. You should have had that baby. You better step up, be responsible, be accountable for fuck. No, we do not say that. We be like, girl, pop your shit and go on. We don't think twice. Sis got pregnant, she ain't want to have it. Sis got rid of it, she ain't want to be no mama. Go on, on, sis. Your body, your choice. Stop acting like y'all don't know what the fuck going on. Stop acting like, and see, the thing about it is, I have a very large platform. And see, y'all hoes get mad because I don't continue to push the narrative that them other hoes that y'all follow be pushing. I push logic. I push common sense. I push reason. I'm going to go with what always makes sense with the facts. And see, y'all don't like that, and I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. The difference is, I'm not somewhere complaining. See, this is what y'all got to understand. Somebody was like, I had kids before marriage, right? You don't see me nowhere on the internet or in my life complaining about what the fuck somebody do or don't do. My children have both parents. Things are going well. Do you understand what I'm explaining? Like, y'all don't understand the problem comes in when you have these children with people that don't want kids. And then you complain and call them deadbeats and all this stuff, but they told y'all what the fuck they was on. Everybody be saying they want truth and they want facts and they want you to be honest with them. But then when the motherfucker is honest with y'all, like, hey, I'm going to be honest, ma'am. I don't even really like you like that. I just want to feel your pussy raw. I don't want to have no children with you. I don't want to re be responsible. I'm not in a place in my life where I don't want. Y'all don't want that truth. See, the problem with y'all is you can't come on a bitch page like mine and try to hold me accountable for a fuck thing. I done already dotted all my uh, I's and crossed all my T's. Y'all problem is because children are innocent, right? Children are innocent. But y'all problem is y'all don't know how to take what the fuck people telling y'all for face value. You get too deep in your feelings. You get too far off from reality. And that's what makes the shit not make sense. Bitch can have however many kids they want. Be honest with your motherfucking self about the situation in which them kids was motherfucking born. That's the moral of the shit. 
That's the moral of the motherfucking story. A bitch can have seven kids, 7,000 kids, however they want to have them. It's your body, it's your choice. We know that, ma'am. We know that. But when you somewhere complaining like somebody doing something to you, when this is just the consequence of your choices, that's when you got yourself and everybody else with common sense fuck the fuck up. This is when y'all don't like to be honest. This shit don't got shit to do with marriage or not being married. This, being married. This shit has to do with, do you understand what you're doing when you make the decision that you make to have a child? Do you understand that a kid needs more than that just you? Do you understand that this whole single mama raising kids pandemic or era is not going well for our culture? Do you understand that? If you understand that, you will make a better decision as the person that has the last say-so in your body, your choice. Y'all be lost, right? wrong out of touch with logic and common sense and facts i can't understand it i can't understand i've been saying that shit before the man ever thought about making a live saying it i ain't making no excuses for no sorry ass men you're letting the sorry ass men fuck are y'all slow on my platform i do zooms and i teach women how to set boundaries, how to have standards for themselves, how to hold themselves accountable for the choices and the things that they allow men or women to do to them. I get in the trenches and teach women how to be a better version of themselves so that niggas like that don't have a chance of even talking to them, let alone fucking you, ma'am, that's on my live. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Y'all don't know what real accountability is because all y'all mammy taught y'all was how to blame a nigga for everything. I'm going to be your new mammy and grow you up today, bitch. I've been saying this since five to seven years ago. You always get slow and deaf and blind and crippled and motherfucking crazy. A nigga can't do what the fuck you don't allow him to do. It's a lot of us as women, we understand a dude like that could never actually even fuck me with a condom, let alone raw. Even to happen. Know why? Because I got standards. I got boundaries. I understand real personal accountability as a woman. I'm in the trenches teaching you dumb assholes this. And you still get you, yo, bitter, blind, crippled, crazy, lost ass on the motherfucking live and say how I'm doing something wrong. Are you nuts? Are you nuts? I'm just looking at y'all like y'all looking at me because people like, oh, you need your mother and your father, ma'am. Somebody raised you wrong. And I'm telling y'all on this live because damn near a thousand people on here. When y'all get on my page and y'all see my lives, when you see people disagreeing with just the logic, because I don't be talking from a space of my motherfucking opinion. I get on here and this shit be common sense. When y'all see women like that woman that just commented, run, unfriend, block, get away from, stay away from, sir. Don't fuck her. Ma'am, don't be friends with her. She blind, crippled, crazy, retarded, motherfucking ears just for earrings. I don't know. Y'all be out of touch with reality and it be sad. It be so sad. It, it, listen, bro. It be so sad. Like I offer all the resources for women to protect themselves and just be better to what niggas like that man ain't even a problem. I don't got no problem with what bruh saying because bruh ain't even in my caliber caliber of men that I would look at. Not because he actually doing anything wrong, but because the level he on in his life, that doesn't attract me. I don't run the risk of crossing paths with a nigga like that. Know why? Because I understand self-esteem which is what I teach in Zooms. I understand how to set real boundaries and uphold them, which is what I teach in my Zooms. I understand how to have standards for yourself, for relationships, which is what I teach in my Zooms. I understand how not to get the milk away for free and expect a nigga to buy the cow, which is what I teach in my Zooms. I understand healing from trauma so that what I went through in my dumb years, I don't go through in the years where I'm supposed to be mature. I teach Zooms on this stuff. If you hoes would put your emotions aside and get on board with some real shit, you'd already be ready to be where I'm at with the mindset. That man ain't doing nothing wrong. He doing what the fuck he want to do. And you'll be doing what you want to do, which matches your values if you have some goddamn common sense. But y'all don't. Y'all just so caught up in blaming a man for everything. It's disgusting. It's to the point where not only is the niggas tired of it, but real women... That we take accountability and we are, you know, 
in a full clear agreement that I'm responsible for my life and what I allow a nigga to do, like we tired of it too. Bitch, I'm a woman and I'm sick of y'all women. I'm a heterosexual female engaged to be married in a very healthy relationship with beautiful babies that I co-parent wonderfully, wonderfully with. And I'm sick of you hoes. I'm sick of it. Everything is a baby daddy or a nigga fault. Bitch, grow up. You're responsible for who the fuck you let run up in you wrong. And ho, you're also responsible for how many babies you push out. Can't no nigga make you have a baby. Can't no nigga unless you was fucking a rape victim, which my heart goes out to those of y'all that have been in that position. But y'all, other bitches, girl, you weren't raped. You gave that pussy up and a nigga ain't have to do nothing to get it. You didn't ask a nigga to put no condom on. And you knew it was a risk that you would get pregnant just the same way he knew you could get pregnant. And when the nigga told you he don't want to be no daddy or want to be no baby and offered your ass that abortion money or that fucking morning after pill and you didn't take it, that was you making a decision. Stand on that shit, ho. Stop trying to dub back. I'm with the man. Why is y'all calling him? Why is y'all calling him? When the kids get grown, if they want to call him and hold him accountable, he got to actually bear the responsibility or the karma for whatever come from the children. But hold you, my dear, you're not a victim of anything. Those children are a victim, but you're not. You're not a victim of nothing. You had some good sex, got off, got pregnant, decided to keep the child. Now, the children, they can have a bone to pick with that man. You, my dear, you do not have no bone to pick with nobody. Fuck is you calling that man phone for? And some of y'all, y'all baby daddy's been saying this to y'all. This is why you triggered by me. I don't give no fucks. I don't owe you nothing, bitch. You owe your children that you decided to have. Y'all be so upset. Stand on it, bitch. That's what a real bitch do. Stand ten toes down. Don't blame nobody. Ride that shit all the way through. 18, 22, 23 years. Ride it through, bitch. All the way to the end and then send them to go see about their daddy them damn, they damn self. Y'all silly asses down. Fuck, raised y'all with this backwards ass shit. What I would like, if you're going to ask me my opinion, which I know some of y'all, you don't care to hear it. But if anybody cares to hear my opinion, I would like this to be said more and more so that women that are younger, as you deal with these dudes, you don't make the same mistakes as these old crispy fucking blind bitches have done. I want you to do different than those in my generation and older. I would like for you young women to have standards and don't let guys like that fuck so easily. Make a man earn you. Make him take you on dates and you get an idea of his character before you ever allow a dude to sleep with you raw or with protection. Stop letting the old bitter broke down babbit ass bitches that done had a bunch of babies from niggas that they blame for why they struggling tell y'all what to do. Now, I'm going to just look at y'all like y'all looking at me. Did you hear me, bitch? This lady said, so you support abortion, shame you. I support people making whatever decision they want to make for themselves, right? What I'm telling you is I teach women, unlike you hoes, I'm in the trenches for a living teaching women how to set standards for themselves so they never in a position where they have to consider motherfucking abortion. I teach women the skills they need for life so that we ain't even having no abortion talk, bitch, because the girl ain't even pregnant to begin with from a nigger or in a season of her life where she has to question whether she want the baby. God damn you bitches, it's slow. Shame on you. What's your name? T. Henry? Bitch, you need help. Ho, you need a life. Bitch, you need to get off my life. Because your ears is just for earrings. You ain't even listening, bitch. Y'all hoes hear what y'all want to hear. That's why the fuck y'all don't got no common sense. You ain't hear me only here say nothing by. Here's what you should do when you have. Do what the fuck you want to do when you get pregnant. I'm in the trenches teaching hoes how not to even get in that situation. Silly ass bitch. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all get slower and slower by the minute. It's like the more game I give, the dumber you bitches get. This is why I be saying I see what niggas be talking about. Because I get on here and I say things. Majority of my lies, if you a real woman and you mature and you ready to receive this game, they help you more than they help men. But y'all hoes be on here listening with your motherfucking feelings, which we know when y'all feelings involved, y'all actually don't be listening at all. And y'all say things that a bitch didn't even say. Hold talking about shame on me. Bitch. I can't understand it.
I can't understand. It be listen. It when I first got on Instagram, you know, I've been on. I was on Facebook for about four years with over four hundred thousand followers before I ever got on Instagram, right? And y'all know I jump platforms in a minute. I deactivate some shit, go to another platform, build that bitch up. But it was Facebook when I first got on here, cause y'all know the Facebook hoes be real bitter. But I done been on Instagram for a while, and this bitch up to about four hundred thousand followers, and you hoes be with the shits too on here. You hoes don't be listening either. This is why I am the way I am with my book club. I'm selective about the people and especially the women I let in my book club because we don't have time to sit in the book club and hear about your baby daddy is to blame for everything. We don't got time for that. We trying to learn real shit. Multiple streams of income. How to set boundaries. Bitch, how to get in a healthy relationship. How to become better than we were today. If we don't have time to hear about your struggles that you signed the fuck up for when you fucked the nigga for a goddamn $40 or a lace front, ho. What did you expect? And I mentor and counsel young women. They book lives with me. I mean, they book one-on-ones with me all the time. Girls that be 19, 20, 21, 22, 25, 20, 26. I talk to them about how not to get themselves in situations where they sitting up looking like you old silly hoes. I show them y'all pages and y'all comments and I teach them, don't be like this dumb bitch that the nigga told her he don't want no baby. He got the pussy for damn near nothing. She decided to have a baby thinking that's going to change a nigga. Bitch, y'all great, great grandparents been telling y'all. Your great, great grandma been telling y'all a baby don't keep a man, bitch, and it don't make your life easier. Y'all hoes be on the, oh, tag me in the baby shower. Stop asking that girl who her baby daddy is. My body, my choice, you damn right. And rock that choice all the way through to the end, bitch. Y'all be doing all that crap. I did a one-on-one with a lady. It, 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 it broke my, it really broke. It was funny. It was uh, sad to listen to. It broke my heart a little bit. The lady on the, the whole one-on-one was her telling me her struggle to get child support out of her baby daddy. When we get down to the end of the one-on-one, the lady telling me how... You know, he finagling through the court system, you know, doing everything he can to not like show up and financially be responsible, which is so fucked up. Right. When it get down to the end of the one on one and the lady tell me because she having to miss work, taking off for these court dates and shit. When the lady tell me how much child support money. One hundred and ninety seven dollars. A hundred. And ninety-seven dollars is the court ordered a hundred and ninety-seven dollars. Now I'm saying it like this because the lady actually got a good job. She told me this. She got a good job. She don't need the hundred and ninety-seven dollars. She said out her own mouth before I could even say anything. The hundred and ninety-seven dollars wasn't even gonna do shit. Why are you doing all of? Bitch, I'm not finna miss work for $200. I'm not finna break patterns in my stride towards building my income. And I'm not finna miss work for $300. You can't. So I'm glad you said this. She And this is what the lady said. Somebody just commented. She want him to be a man. You can't make nobody be a man. That don't. That's y'all problem. That's y'all problem. That it's no way I'll be going to all the motherfucking court. They take. She losing weight. The lady got a good job. The lady make way more than $197 a day. So every time she take off from work and have to go to the court days and she have to drive a little way, she said, it makes no sense, right? But I understood where she was coming from when she explained she's trying to hold him accountable. You can't hold some. You can't make up. You can't force. Some, it don't make. I don't know how y'all don't understand. Listen, y'all grandmas told y'all this. K. Michelle told y'all y'all can't raise a man. Bitch, I've been saying it for the past like seven years. What do y'all want? And then y'all keep just saying, we the crazy ones. 
You cannot make these niggas change into something that they don't want to change into. All you can do is set boundaries, create standards for yourself, girl. Make decisions based on what you're willing to take. I can't understand it. 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 No, she she was crying on the call. When I got my turn to talk, and a lot of y'all do, I admire that you could take it, but a lot of y'all break down and start crying. She started crying on the phone. When it got down to the part where I started saying exactly what I'm saying to y'all, that, ma'am, it's not even worth it. You're losing more. She admitting I'm losing. Trying to prove a point. That's why I made that song. First line of the song, y'all, you had a baby out of spite. And now it's weighing on you. Baby daddy ain't text bite. That shit weighing on you. Chasing child support out of spite. You don't even need the money, ma'am. He don't want to be there. He don't want to be there. He don't want to be there. Allow his children to hold him accountable when he get older. But right now, if you're in a predicament where you can move forward and just create better resources for your kids to replace, ma'am, move on. It's losing her sanity. Ain't no just no peace of mind. Y'all hoes out here losing y'all sanity. Y'all finna break. Listen, it's so many women on that goddamn shade room post. They so upset that that man saying what he's saying. The man is speaking his truth. And he's speaking uh, honesty and facts. You ain't got to like it. It's true. This is the problem with us as women. We don't like to accept the reality when a nigga be telling you and showing you he don't give a fuck about you. You still believe you could do otherwise based on your pretty face, your small waist, your fat ass, and your pussy. And niggas be showing y'all time and time again they don't give a fuck about you or the kids they laid up and fucked and made. And then y'all go do it again and again and again. Y'all even go so far as to because y'all be swearing, y'all be pro women, and y'all be mad at people like me saying I'm not for the women. But y'all will see niggas have babies from women, don't be giving a fuck about the baby or the child, and then turn around and have a baby from that same nigga, and then act crazy when you get done the same way. Ma'am, so you thought you was better than that woman? So, ma'am, you thought that you was better than her. Why? Because your ass was fatter? Why? Because you earned more money than her? Why? Why you thought that he was going to do different with you? Why the nigga showing you his ways? Y'all don't want to believe it. You don't want to believe it. And my thing is, date who you want. Date, if you want to date a nigga who is a deadbeat to the children he already got, date him. My advice, don't have no babies with him. Don't have none, bitch. Just don't have none. Have fun. Lock in. I would give a don't until you see a serious change in this man's demeanor towards life and responsibility and the decisions that he made. Bitch don't have. Not y'all. Not y'all. Not y'all. No, not y'all. Y'all be mad at me for saying that y'all retarded for having a baby by a nigga that got other kids that he don't even take care. And then you want somebody to feel sorry for you on a one on one or a lie because of what you know. Man, fuck you and your kids. You did that to you and your kids. You want us to be, you did that to yourself and your children. So if you that mad, fuck yourself. Why are you getting mad at us? Yes, it's going on every, I speak like this because I want y'all to get so mad at me that you finally just stop letting these niggas do this. That's the remedy. If niggas had no women that allows them to run up in them raw without vetting these niggas out first, these situations wouldn't even come up. It's the same for cheating. If there were no women that was willing to deal with any man that there is even an inkling that you fuck with another one, problem would be solved. Niggas would get in line. Men move based on what we give them access to. Do y'all understand that the difficult thing in life for men is getting money and getting pussy. When they master these things, this is when they elevate, right? The idea is sex for women is easy. Sex for the average man is hard, right? So the idea is a lot of niggas out here that ain't really woke up yet, they move based on getting pussy.
right? Just getting pussy, not locking it. So they go as far as you require them to, to fuck. Just understand this. So if you set some standards, there will be some niggas that will pass you up because they got some other women sitting over here with no standards and they can get the pussy easier. But if you set some standards, you will have men pursuing you that are willing to step up to the responsibility of your, all right. I be trying to help y'all. I be trying to help y'all. But y'all be so mad at me. Y'all be so mad. Y'all be so mad. And y'all don't understand. I don't give a fuck. I do, I do Zooms on co-parenting. To try to teach y'all how to maneuver through co-parenting. I talk to y'all about things like, you know, you already picked who you picked. You chose to have the baby. It's here. You can't change a man. All you can do is look at your baby daddy and look at the perks and the things that we can get that will help raise this child to the standard that we're trying to reach. All the things that he falls short, bitch, just go get other resources to help support your child in those areas. More positive male role models. More, But not y'all. Y'all stuck on this overly independent. You're going to do everything by yourself. And this is why the fuck. All right. Give an example of what? What you want me to give an example of? Give an example of what? Give an example of what? I love that the shade room with their large platform posted that man. I love it. Because y'all hoes need to hear that shit so it can stick. Y'all need to hear it. When these niggas don't have to do no work for that cat, bitch, you not finna get much else out of this nigga. Wake up. Stop giving the milk away for free and expect the nigga to buy the cow or stand firm on some responsibilities from getting that easy ass cat. And this is the thing. Niggas with their shit together and that are mature, they don't even want to fuck y'all raw. Like when you giving the pussy away easy, a man that got something to lose and success and values and stuff he working on, he don't even want that free easy cat on the raw. Because he knowing you bitch going to be a problem for him. You know, listen, I'll be telling y'all this because this is the answer. This is the answer to a lot of y'all problems. Like, it, it's a lot of, even when I was dating, it's, it's a whole bunch of shit I don't have a problem with. And it's not because I'm better than y'all. It's not. It's because I understand boundaries and personal accountability and, you know, being responsible for my choices and who I allow in my space and what energy I choose to receive and managing my emotions. This is the only thing that put me in a position to not end up in, in the shit that y'all be in. Niggas don't be approaching me on no sucker shit. Niggas that be on sucker shit, y'all know what no some real shit. When I was dating, men that be on sucker shit, this is what they used to be saying to me. Damn boy, a nigga will fuck the shit out of you, but I already know a nigga can't even step to you because you you too smart, man. You got your shit together. You already know a nigga can't get. I'm already knowing nigga can't get nothing past. This is what they say. I don't even say nothing. I don't even say, sir, you don't qualify. They tell me they don't qualify. They look at how I step, how I talk, how I act, what I'm on, what I'm ain't on. And they tell themselves, I'm on some bullshit. She gonna peep it, so I ain't even finna try. They ask themselves out. I'm talking about everywhere I go as I'm traveling. This is what the niggas that's on some lame shit, they said to me. Hey, you that girl from them videos, then yes, you is. I be lying saying, no, I ain't. I be the one telling lies. No, that ain't me. You love, ain't it? No, it ain't. Yes, you is. You that girl. I'm already knowing. I ain't finna fuck with you. A nigga already knowing. You too woke anyway. Nigga can't get nothing past you. This is what they say. And they laugh and they walk the fuck off. Thank you, sir, because you already know. Eliminate they damn self based on how I'm stepping. I ain't no better than y'all. Just mentally, I understand what the fuck going on out here. Them niggas that want that low-hanging fruit that easy pussy, a bitch that's struggling with their basics and you can get over on them, they not even finna look at me. I could be butt-ass naked. 
two piece thong walking the beach. A nigga ain't he? They not. They might look, lust, say a few. They not finna try to pursue me. They not even finna try to get this cat. I'm giving y'all the answer. But no, y'all want to sit online and listen to the bitches that every girl, it's a, he was a narcissist. And, and I want to tell y'all that you got to watch these niggas energy and girl, you got to see sometimes niggas be jealous of you and they'll, you know, get with you and they will compete with you and hold you down in ways that you can't elevate. Cause they all this old in circles, retarded ass, stupid ass shit while staring dead at the camera. Like they know what the fuck they talking about. I'll be telling you bitches shit that tomorrow, bitch, if you listen today, tomorrow you attract better if you listen tonight ho in the morning you will do better bitch if you listen right this hour the next hour bitch you will attract better i'll be on y'all head telling y'all shit that makes sense for you and your babies that you had from the dead beat ass nigga don freeman quit line quit line Quit lying. I'm hip to all the games. My mind's so strong. It wouldn't you, it went, I would aggravate you. Y'all don't understand. When you get to a space where I'm at, people that's on bullshit, male or I aggravate them. I could bring on 10, 20 people on my live that I aggravate them because they can't get a lie past me. They can't get no manipulation past me. Ain't none of that gas, like ain't none of that narcissistic shit. Ain't none of that. Male or female, I don't go for the victim shit. I don't go for the mind game. All I go for is direct communication that match your motherfucking actions. And I watch how you treat yourself. I watch how others around you view you. Because before you met me, bitch, I'm going to look at the reputation you already created. I'm going to aggravate you. Y'all ain't going to do me in. If you want some fuck shit, if you want them, I'm going to run you crazy. With this real ass shit, same way I be doing y'all online. It's some hoes, as soon as the shit say love Dorsey live, they be mad. You ain't gonna even want no pussy. By the time you get done talking to me for about 30, 45 minutes, darn, you will be running from me. I don't even want her. Let me get one of these lame hoes that don't know shit. One of these bitches that just give me some pussy from a smile or a designer outfit. I ain't even got time for love Dorsey. That's what you will be saying. I be telling y'all how to start. I say the number every live. Text 678-965-0698. Get in a motherfucker. I'm doing a Zoom tonight. 678-965-0698. I be telling y'all every day, every time I go live, every time I post, I tell y'all what to do. It will fix all this shit. The niggas that be taking y'all up and through there, they're my dogs. They, yeah, we see you, girl. And keep it the fuck moving. They wouldn't dare. Text 678-965-0698 to my mature men. Any women on any of my lives that you see heavily disagree with the concept of what I'm saying, they can disagree with my little jokes and opinions throughout the live. But them bitches that be on here that just be, they hate the essence of me. They hate to hear me coming. They hate to hear like, bro, I'm telling you. Somebody talking about I'm tweaking for positive fumble. You know how many niggas tell him that? At some point, we got to grow up. Like, all in all, that's what it boiled down to. At some point, we have to grow up. The number is 678-965-0698. At some point, we have to grow up. We got to grow up. Flex, what up? Flex, I fuck with you. You be on it every live. Every live flex be on it. I be trying to help y'all. I know that, but I be saying that. Like, I be, listen, when I be on the lives, I be like, if you in your feelings today, 
you feel some type of way, watch the live later because this is going to be triggering. I talk about generational curses. I talk about managing emotions and triggers. I teach people how to recognize their triggers. I break down how to keep an emotional journal and learn yourself. This is getting to know you. I break this shit down to where if a whole do two, three zooms with me, her whole mindset be different. I be telling y'all that y'all about to be. I come on the live. You're going to be in your feelings. You're going to be triggered. When I say what I'm going to think, y'all still get triggered, still get on here, still disagree, still say dumb ass shit, still go be mad. They still be thrown off and I don't be giving a fuck. I even be telling y'all, don't get on here typing them long ass paragraphs because I don't give a fuck. This is a business for me. I'm going to come on. I'm going to stand firm on what I'm saying. Bitch, I do this for a living. This page is a business. It's nothing you can say in comments or on my lives that register with me personally. It's nothing personal, bitch. It's business. I just am. I happen to be in the business of helping bitches. And I do couple zooms. I help couples sit down and really acknowledge whether they're compatible or if we should call it quits. I help people work through cheating situations and shit with money and all. I'm in the trenches with this shit. Y'all bitches just get online and say what y'all feel based on what y'all went through as far as what a nigga done did to y'all. Oh, I'm in the trenches. I'm in the trenches with this shit. And then I'm paid to do it. So I'm required to do it from a level of having people's best interests at heart so they can get their money's worth. Only reason y'all ain't really been seeing me alive a lot like I used to is I'm, I'm really going back through finishing up the next book I'm finna publish, and that bitch so far, cause it's all on relationships. It's I feel like I'm stalling on it a little bit, cause I it's, it it been wrote. I just keep going back through the bitch and going back through. Y'all like to play with y'all selves, with y'all relationships, with y'all goals, and then y'all come on here and think y'all gonna play with me. I'm gonna give you this real, through and through every time. Six seven eight. 965-0698. I say this number every live. It's on my page on plenty of posts. It's in my bio. If you bitches really want to help and change, you'd have been text that motherfucking number. This ain't nothing new. Flex been commenting that same paragraph every time I'm motherfucking live. Here go the number of the book. Here's what you can do. Y'all hoes been asking me for the past five. It's been damn near a decade. You bitches get y'all stank asses on here. Where's her man? Is she married? I've been tagging me and my bae page for the past year or two. Ho, get with the program. Do better. And I'm giving you all the tools to do better. My workbook is on Amazon. You can go on Amazon, type in Pay Attention by Love Dorsey. It is a workbook. It is double space for you to write in it, circle, highlight, write names of people that this shit relate. Work that bitch into your life. This next book is way different. This next book is on some whole other shit. Some whole other shit. It's pages and pages and pages of real shit. But y'all can't even take when a bitch sit here and say it. In the flesh, out the book, face to face, on the live, y'all be crying. The motto is do better. Do better. Do the fuck better. If y'all got young daughters, put them on my platform. Put them on my platform. I'm telling you so that the next generation under us and your children can do better. Because as women, we got to stop allowing a lot of shit that we, that we allow to the point where these niggas won't have no choice but to be on some mature shit. I got about five books wrote. I ain't gonna even count. Like, to be accountable, I be stalling on the bitches. I ain't gonna lie. I be reading them bitches, going back, rereading them. This is why I'm selected with my book club. Because the stuff in my book, like, we're reading a book in my book club 
currently about being feminine as a woman. It's mastering your femininity. A lot of y'all, you don't even want to have this conversation. When I start talking about this shit on the live, y'all get mad. She for the niggas. Oh, she don't care about the women. She for the niggas. Yes, you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me to get advice on publishing your book. On entrepreneur, I do Zooms on budgeting. I teach a three-layer budgeting system above broke. I do Zooms on multiple streams of income. I do Zooms on entrepreneurship and marketing. I teach my business flower to teach you how to get the fuck out here in life and make something happen for yourself. Stop working these, only these nine to fives and relying on just an active stream of income. Y'all, she for the niggas. Oh, she for the niggas. I can't believe she said that. No, they tell me I get them pick me vibes. That's always favorite thing to say. Yeah, I'm already picked. Rain big as fuck. I ain't looking for nobody to pick me. And even when I wasn't uh, doing the picking, even when I wasn't picked, bitch, I don't wait for people to pick me. I do the motherfucking picking based on the standards I set for myself. The fuck? But only, only mature women gonna understand this. Chelsea, what you say? You love it here. I know that's right. Shout out to the females that supported my purse line. My 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 supporters and the people that, you know, fuck with me, that follow my Jeji page. I fuck with y'all. It's in my bio. And for those of y'all that have purchased, for those of y'all that have purchased both colors, the black and the brown, man, I fuck with y'all. Is that I do zooms on health, eating healthy, understanding your body. And I just go break down the science. In a way so that anybody, you could be illiterate and take one of my zooms and bitch, you will come out sharper than the motherfucker. That's the whole point, Kenya. These are the things that you actually got to support my brand to get the answers to. Do you, don't you think if I wanted y'all to know the name of the book, I would just tell you? I only give you a certain amount for free because you hoes don't be appreciating it anyway. And I'm not saying specifically you. So please don't take offense to what I'm saying right now. But in a nutshell, this is a motherfucking business. Y'all will pay for hairdos. You bitches will pay for lashes. You hoes will pay to get y'all lips done. You motherfuckers run to Miami and get your bodies done. Everybody want to look good. Try to be good. Pay into the platform. Text six seven eight nine six five zero six nine eight. Drop that money. Get on the call. Now I give you all the books I read. I'll tell you every name of every book that helped get me sharp where I'm at. I'll give you the book about femininity. I'll give you the book about positivity. I'll give you the book about these niggas. I'll give you the book about how to break generational curse. Pay for it. The way you post, pay for these lashes. Pay for it. The way you hoes pay for these wigs. Pay for it. The way y'all go in the mall and buy them outfits. Pay for it. You want better for yourself? Pay for it. Just looking at y'all like y'all looking at me. If you get your young people, your kids, your nieces, your on, on my shit, young, whew. I do young Zooms and I charge less for them just because it's for young people. And I go through damn near everything. I got my damn retainers in. I can't stand. I, I do a young Zoom and I go through damn near everything with the young people. Mad Smooth, what's up? If y'all do music and y'all need beats, tap in with Mad Smooth. He got them for you. Once y'all go get fine, tap in with me. After you get your outer looking a certain way, come out at me. I'll help you get your inner right. And then when you get to that point, bitch, you will be the table that y'all claim to be now. Houston is next. When y'all see me live, you got to pull up. That shit be a whole vibe. It be a whole vibe. I'm just reading y'all comments, looking at y'all like y'all looking at me. 
I'll be the best thing for you. I don't know why y'all be fighting it. Carolyn, honestly, I don't give a damn what order y'all do it in. Just get right inside it, Atma. That's that's my whole thing. I'm so for the people. Bitches be so mad because they be her platform. She pretty. She this. She that. But she y'all want me to be for one side or the other. I'm for the people, boy. I'm for my people. I'm for positivity, healthy relationships, breaking these generational curses, making sure these kids got what they need to be able to grow up and be healthy adults. And this shit, be, it be requiring like the repetition of this game. That's why I keep getting on here. It be necessary. Male or female, I'm for the people, boy. That's why I'm always going to stand on real. I'm always stand on truth. I'm always stand on logic. I'm always stand on what makes sense. You know I'm coming back to Atlanta. Atlanta was love. It's definitely easy. I'm telling y'all, you could put your 17 year I, I got a daughter that's in high school. She watch all my lives, be listening to all my Zooms. She on point mentally. And when it's things in front of her that she struggled to really know how to maneuver through emotionally, she come get this game. And I walk her through applying it. I walk her through. I walk her through what she doing wrong. I walk her through how not to blame everything on the little peers and stuff that she got. I walk her through it. I walk her through it. I keep repeating the same stuff to her mindset from a space that she can understand. So she can be sharp. That's what you're supposed to do, Chrissy. Everything you absorb, feed that shit to your jits. Chicago definitely on the on the on the list. I've done one on ones with kids as young as eight. Detroit is definitely on the list. Most all the cities y'all naming is on the list. Yes, I read a lot of books. That's why I have a book club. All we do is read books and discuss books. We don't sit. It's a it's a large group of people that we don't get on there and talk about how some shit a bitch fault. We read and educate ourselves. But see, that ain't some of y'all setting. That ain't y'all cup of tea. Y'all like a salon or a motherfucking shop somewhere where y'all could sit up and blame somebody else for why y'all life looked the way it looked. Y'all don't want to hear no logical shit, no real shit. You just want to talk about how you feel and what you think. And you ain't read no books to think past what the fuck your poor ass overly independent mama taught your ass. Like y'all, it ain't y'all cup of tea. Oh, and it costs money. So that means you have to have consistent income and income coming in to be in my book club because there is a monthly book club fee. So if you don't got your basics together and you can't maintain a simple um, monthly fee, you can't be in the book club anyway. Yes, I work. I did a whole video dedicated to young boys on we getting pussy comes great responsibility because women don't understand logic when it come down to getting a cat. 
It's men. Like, I, I be, I be want to hear what some of y'all women be having to say. It's young boys that they ain't even fuck nobody wrong. And nobody ain't even pregnant. But they getting told that a bitch is pregnant and that they got to take care of a baby that don't even belong to them. Talk about that. These are the things that along with all the other content that we make as women, make some content that have to do with helping these sons that we raising. Because y'all don't just got daughters. Tell their ass the motherfucking truth. You can sleep with a woman protected and all. Don't even nut. She still, if she feel like this is necessary to manipulate you, she still to tell your ass she pregnant. Get a fake pregnancy test. Get a, pre a pregnant friend to pee on the stick. Tell you it's yours. You trying to just be a good man and handle the responsibilities that this woman saying you got now. All the while she lying and being motherfucking manipulative. Ain't nobody talking about this kind of shit. They always gonna call you something when you start speaking truth. The difference is, I don't see how people don't know by now. They, and no, I don't give a fuck. I ain't gonna say nobody, but I don't. I don't give no fucks. I don't give not none. I done done. I done done one on one. I did a one on one with a dude, and it, and he, you know, it ended with me telling him he crazy as hell. Like he got a lot of accountability work to do. But he talking to a female. She pregnant for real now. Nah. But she done fake pregnant, like legit, not no pregnancy scare. She done admittedly fake pregnant three times before. It just, it's for real this time. Three times. Nobody don't talk about this. Three times she done came with a pregnancy test, was fake. And the man is one of those dudes, it, it, when you start talking like that, he, he, he ain't, he ain't been out here, right? He ain't the niggas that be getting over on y'all. So he genuinely, every time she said she was pregnant, he went for it. Not went for it like paying for an abortion. Went for it like I'm ready to step up and be a man if she is. Fake the pregnancy. Yes, he stayed around. <clears throat> and now she pregnant for real. This is why y'all can't tell me shit. Because I be on the phone with y'all. Men and women. Listening to the fucked up shit both be doing. Not just men. So you can never get me nowhere. Just talking about what niggas do. Or just talking about. He dumb for going for it three times. But she crazy as hell for doing it three times. But guess what? In this scenario. He the one that ultimately I told him got the most work to do. Because she just doing what the fuck you allow. After a bitch lie about a motherfucking baby one time, nigga, you weren't supposed to never hit her again. She doing what you allow. You won't want to be on this one-on-one -on -one saying that in the end, she just doing you so wrong. You doing yourself so wrong, bro. You ain't even trusting your own mind as a man on what makes sense and what don't. Now they stuck because it's a baby for real. Now peep this, right? This is the part y'all skip over. He got certain animosity towards her. For faking pregnant three times. She probably feel like I caught this nigga finally because he got a good job. He owned properties. Like he's somebody to catch from her view, which is why the fuck she was faking pregnancy. Think about what type of upbringing because now he don't want to be with her. Now she pregnant for real and he don't want to be with her. The first three fake pregnancies, he was going to try to make the relationship work. Now he don't want to be with her. So now this baby got to be, you know, raised in a co-parenting situation where them two motherfuckers ain't finna get along. But y'all will be somewhere on a Facebook post with the lady saying, oh, your baby daddy's so wrong. Why he doing you like that? Why he ain't coming over? The man tired. The man retarded. I told him that on the phone. But he also tired too. And these is the environments in which these kids is being birthed from.
And y'all wonder why the fuck y'all keep talking about the dating pool fucked up. Listen, get in my Zoom if you're able to get in my Zoom. If you're not, I understand too. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy the rest of y'all weekend. I'm finna go eat lunch with my daughters. Then I'm gonna call retarded, retarded. I don't give a damn. Y'all don't like my word choice? You ain't got to be on here. And I ain't saying that you did comment that got a problem. I'm just saying in general. Y'all know I'm gonna say what makes sense to the most hoodest, lamest, lamest terms. Like, I'm going to go ghetto every time. Now, if you want to hear me give this same game with no curse words, with no offensive verbiage, you could always catch me when I be on the radio. You could catch me when I get on certain podcasts where you can't curse. But on this motherfucking page where it say love underscore Dorsey, I'm going to call a bitch a bitch. I'm going to call a nigga a nigga. I'm going to call a hoe a hoe. You might be a re a dumb bitch, a slow bitch, a stank bitch, a motherfucking trout mouth, ugly ass nigga. I don't know. Whatever the fuck comes to my thought, train of thought when I'm delivering this shit. We get ghetto on here. Because this is who I'm trying to change in the trenches anyway. To you proper talking elite motherfuckers, you shouldn't be on here anyway. The people I'm trying to reach, how I talk on this motherfucker, hit just with how they talk. I might say this live, I might not. Y'all be tagging y'all, baby daddies and baby mamas. Then I have to sit there and look at the fucking notifications all day long where y'all arguing back and forth. Y'all enjoy y'all day too, I'm out of here. I'm out. <laughs> Somebody said ghetto therapy. <laughs> 